Okay, running a little late. Let's go ahead and stand for a prayer and a pledge of allegiance. Heavenly Father, we thank you for a new day. We thank you for a chance to come together and take care of county business, and we pray for your wisdom and direction on each of these items. None are, none are insignificant. We just pray for this community. We pray for our first responders, our servicemen and women, wherever they may be, that your protection would be upon them. Lord, we just uh, pray for those that are participating in the election process, Father. We just pray for the uh, voters, but those especially who are running for election. Lord, it's a, it's a stressful time. Just get them through this over the next few days, and we pray for a smooth election tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> like trying to lead Yeah. <laughs> Took off, didn't it? <laughs> all right. Good morning, everyone. Today is our second uh, regular meeting of the month of May. Today's the 23rd of May, 2022, just after 9 a.m. Item number one, public comments. Request for information on non-agenda items. Anybody have anything like that they would like to speak about? Of course, you may address the court on any agenda item. We will move on to approval. We've got two sets of minutes there. First one is item number two. These are our minutes from our May 9th meeting two weeks ago, what I'll call regular meeting first of the month. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Motion is made to approve that set of minutes by Commissioner Fitch. Second. Second. Any discussion, comments? All in favor say aye. Aye. And then we had a brief meeting to canvass the vote on May 17th. We have a set of minutes there. Make a motion to approve the minutes. Motion to approve Commissioner Fitch. Second, Commissioner Applewhite. All in favor say aye. 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 Item number four, report on road work status. Commissioner Parker, would you start us off? Uh, we've been, uh, last week, week, part of the week before, we've been uh, worked on two roads out on 4357 and, and 4363, uh, 4663, and uh, reworked them, ground them up, and, and uh, worked some flex base into them and, and got them set back up. Uh, getting getting ready to scab them here in a few days, and and uh, or when the weather allows us to, and uh, been picking up a few trees that have come down. And okay. That Thank you, Commissioner Applewhite. Well, we've uh, finished uh, cleaning up on and cleaning the ditches and stuff on 3365. And now we've moved to 3420 and 3425. We uh, got those ready to uh, got to just put replace some culverts and. Uh, a couple of those, and then uh, we've been shredding, starting at uh, Neville's Cooper Chapel area, and then uh, heading back around to Argo and Sugar Hill, and cleaning up trees and stuff. There's been uh, rotten trees that are falling down. All right, thank you, Commissioner Fitch. All right, we'll fix some soft spots and put new base on uh, 2353, 1245, and 1150. We installed three culverts for residents and one cross culvert on 20 on 4420. We've been doing some side cutting, some patching, and we had some trees down on 2620 and 2930. Thank you, Commissioner Parchman. We finished up with County Road 1455 and have it ready for chip seal. We've been installing culverts, uh, still side cutting. Uh, Passion potholes, and we are scabbing County Road 1670 today, and we did Friday as well. All right, thank you. Item number five consider and possibly approve executing a contract with Smith County to house prisoners. The sheriff is here today to tell us about what I think is good news. Yeah, County is pretty well populated, and he. Uh, Smith County. Yes, sir. Smith County. I know uh, Sheriff Smith, and we were. They're the ones over Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And so uh, we've got we took uh, eleven of the females we're holding right now, and uh, we just need to get this ratified in court here, so we can hold, hold for them actually 
I think it's going to be a, a good relationship between us two in the future. So I think it's a good deal. Tell us some more detail. What's their rate of pay? Forty-five dollars a day per head. Comparable reach, to what we're getting day. from. Yeah, the we're getting from the feds now. Uh, the good thing is we don't have to have two people for everything that happens with with regular counties like we do the feds. So uh, it's actually a, it's a it's a good deal for us and him. Okay. All the right. Same standard, same. They pay for all medical. Anything happens, and they and what's good about them, they can do all their transport. So we don't have to do any transport for them. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good deal. They, you know, Smith County is a good, good much to deal with. Yeah, you just worked that out the end of last week, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Commissioners, do you have any questions about this new relationship with Smith County? Is this the first time you've, you've uh, housed for them? Housed for Smith County, yes, sir. Yeah, it's going to be some good money for our taxpayers here okay. to help out with things, and it's, uh, it's just a good deal all around. You still have room for our, for our uh, folks that break the law? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Any questions for Sheriff? All right. I would recommend that you approve this new relationship and this contract with Smith County to house uh, some prisoners for them. Make that motion. Motion is made by Commissioner Parker, second by Commissioner Parchman. Questions, comments? All in favor, say aye. Aye. You need Thank a quick you. signature on here? Are you going to? No, no you, you go work out yours. Hopefully, you just run through court. Okay. Your Item number six, discuss road work at Bridges Chapel Cemetery with possible action. Commissioner Parchment. I got a request from an individual to help out with the roads at the Bridges Chapel Cemetery. They're in pretty, pretty rough shape, and I've already talked to John Coburn about it, and they, it meets all the requirements. It's privately owned and maintained cemetery, and it's over 50 years old, so I kind of want to help them out. Make it look nice for them, where it's functional. What does this involve? Oh, maybe just a little bit of scabbing, bring a little bit of cold mix or some old dirt in there, and just kind of patch it up where it's smooth, and where, you know, everybody can get in and out real easy, not so rough. All right. Anybody have a question, comment, motion? I'll make a motion. We uh, we approve. Motions made by Commissioner Parchman in uh, his precinct to do this work on the Bridges Chapel Cemetery Road. Second. Second by Commissioner Applewhite. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, item number seven, consider and possibly approve a replat of lot seven at Sandlin Ranch number two in precinct two. This is a similar item to what we had a couple of meetings ago where the property owner desires to uh, recombine uh, and reconfigure an existing plat. This is a subdivision out on Bob Sandlin. Kind of describe where this is, John. It's uh, on uh, the way to the peninsulas. It's right before you get to the peninsulas on the right. Okay. <laughs> is it lakefront property? Uh, most of it is. Is There's this, some is of this it one? Isn't. I think that one is. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me read to you just a little bit of background information so that everyone will have a better understanding. This is coming from, uh, first of all, I'll read this from Randy Brown, who is the Sandlin Ranch HOA president. Dear Mr. Bain, Letter serves to inform you that the board approved on January 10 the request of Mr. Michael Keldorf to have his property at Sandlin Ranch, Lot 7, uh, on Private Road 2724, replatted to adjoin the property listed on the Titus Appraisal District as property ID 322823. The replatting of Sandlin Ranch 7 will remove such property from any and all responsibilities and obligations to Sandlin Ranch HOA once the transfer has been approved by Titus County Commissioners. So what he's doing is he's carving out his lot that was originally part of the Sandlin Ranch and it, I guess it has HOA responsibilities uh, financially. So he's going to carve that out and, and essentially reduce the size of the Sandlin Ranch development and 
pull this lot out and attach it to some other property that he owns, all of which will be outside of the Sandlin Ranch development. Um, the documentation has been filed and recorded with the appropriate agencies and copies of these are provided to the Sandlin Ranch HOA Board of Directors. Mr. Keldorf is responsible for any and all costs. Clint Bain, uh, in his memo to me, says, the Keldorfs contacted me recently regarding a replat. Um, the replat proposed is to remove lot seven, that's 1.34 acres from the Sandlin Ranch subdivision, because it is located outside of the gated subdivision. He wants to combine it with another parcel to make a total parcel size of 11.49. Lot 8, which also belongs to Mr. Keldorf, will remain part of the Sandlin Ranch subdivision and will be used as the main entrance and frontage to the Keldorf home that will be constructed on parcel 322823. To my knowledge, these changes to the subdivision are with the approval of the HOA at Sandlin Ranch and these changes do not pose any violation to the Titus County development procedures or the on-site sewage orders, and I feel it should be approved. I have the drawings here if anybody would like to see them, um, but I, I've essentially described to you what's going on. He's carved this out of Sandlin Ranch. It was a lot that uh, for some reason is outside of the fenced and gated area that is the bulk of Sandlin Ranch, but that's his choice. I'll make a motion we approve it. Motion to approve this request to replat is made by Commissioner Fitch. Second. Second by Commissioner Parker. All in favor say aye. aye. <laughs> Item number eight is our quarterly investment report where Barbara reports to us how our uh, assets, primarily cash equivalents, are being handled. Barbara, is there any comments that you would like to make on this? Well, I just want to call your attention to the fact that yeah, I'm sure you're aware that the interest rates have come up. So we're earning a little more interest than what we were earning. If you please recall that our current uh, contract with Guarantee Bank does not have a floor on the interest rates. Previous contracts there was a floor, but there's not one now. Now it's market driven. So I'm pleased to report to you that our interest income has increased. It's not to where it was the last time that uh, the nation had inflation like this, but it is better than what it was. Other than that, our assets are, our financial assets are held as they should be. They are uh, secured. They meet the requirements of the public funds investment report. We, we do monitor these and we also monitor the uh, performance of the bank. We do that through the Bauer Financial Rating and they recommend all four and five star banks and Guarantee Bank is a five star rating. Just out of curiosity, what is the interest, what's the highest interest rate we're getting on anything? 0.83. Wow. Yeah, not all kinds of money. Mm. All right, so no, and they, our assets continue to sit in essentially the same instruments as before, getting a little bit better interest rate. Uh, we're not exceeding any limitations with the bank that are covered uh, or that are insured or backed. Um, I think those are the primary things that we need to know. So we'll celebrate the fact that we're getting a wee bit more interest rate. Anybody have a question or a comment for Barbara? All right, I'll entertain a motion to approve the quarterly investment report. Make that motion. Motion is made by Commissioner Applewhite. Second. Second by Commissioner Parker. All in favor say aye. 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 Item number nine is approval of oral and written reports. You have that from Barbara. Make a motion, approve the report. Motion to approve said report is made by Commissioner Fitch. Second. Second by Commissioner Parchman. All in favor say aye. 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 First one. 
Item number 10 is consider and possibly approve the treasurer's report from Cheryl. Make that motion. And the motion to approve is made by Commissioner Fitch. Second. Who was that? Me. Second by Commissioner Parker. All in favor say aye. 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 Item number 11 is approval of budget amendments. I have budget amendment number 2022-19 and it has three, three components. The first one is a request from Constable Barrett uh, to pull $600 out of a line in his budget called other expense and put it into his gas and oil. His gas and oil budget is $1,500. He needs to put about $600 more, bringing it up to $2,100, and he's reducing other expenses. He's had an increase in the number of transport calls, which has resulted in an increase in his gas and oil budget costs. He believes that this adjustment will likely meet the needs of his department for the remainder of the current fiscal year. Uh, he will plan on adjusting that budget uh, in the new budget year, but for now needs a little bit more with obviously the higher cost of gas than when we budgeted this amount last year. The second component is for uh, professional fees paid to Hilltop Securities that helps us with all of our bond issuances. Uh, $1,000 being pulled out of general county contingency, so there is uh, some new money there and put into professional fees. The annual electronic municipal market access, also known as the EMMA report, has historically been filed by Hilltop Securities on behalf of the county because they are our financial bond advisor. The fees are higher this year due to the fact that the county has not sold or refunded bonds in the past year. The third and final component is a big one, $125,000 we're going to put into professional services grant management. Uh, that had an existing budget amount of $65,000. We're going to put $125,000 into that, bringing the total up to $190,000. And we are pulling that $125,000 out of other compliant costs. Tell us what that is what that budget item is set up for. What is the purpose of that that has $6 million in it? That's just our uh, okay. uh, ARPA funds. Yes, sir. All, all of these funds here are ARPA funds, and the reason for the increase is because we, you approved the um, contract with Gary Trailer on April the 25th, so I had no idea when we did the budget how much that might cost. So I'm just adjusting that line item to bring it to the $190,000 that's in that contract. The other compliant cost is when we did the budget, please recall that we included a, a part-time position if that were to become necessary, and then this um, someone to manage the grant, a grant administrator. So really that's where all the other money was just placed until we decided, you decided, how it was you wanted to use those funds. Unfortunately, we can use the, the grant proceeds to pay for the grant management. We're not having to pull that out of uh, contingency money of the county. So those are your three components, $600 for gas and oil for Ray, $1,000 for Hilltop Securities, and $125,000 uh, uh, rebalance between accounts to pay for Gary Trailer and Associates. And Gary Taylor will meet with us tomorrow uh, to begin our relationship with Trailer and Associates. That's all I have on item number 19 or, or budget amendment number 19 for the year. Make a motion to approve the amendments. Motion's made to approve by Commissioner Fitch. Second. Second by Commissioner Parchman. All in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Item number 12, sign pay orders and approve payment of our current bills. Make a motion we pay our bill. Thank you, Jimmy. Motion is made by Commissioner Parker. Second. Second by Commissioner Applewhite. 
Any discussion? All in favor, say aye. Aye. Closing comments by a judge and commissioners. Uh, I don't have anything. We've had a smooth week at early voting that ended on Friday. Uh, no early voting is going on today. Uh, last push tomorrow, 7 to 7 at the polling locations. And we'll all pray for a smooth day of voting with a good turnout. Um, I don't have anything else. Commissioner Parchman. I just want to shout out to uh, Sheriff Ingram. I didn't ever get a chance to thank you for sending you guys out there to help clean up our roads the other day. And uh, I think they got over 70 something bags of trash off our road. Did a good job. Thank you all. All right. Commissioner Fitch. I don't have anything. Commissioner Applewhite. I also want to thank Tim for, he sent uh, guys out Wednesday, I think it was, to patch for us. I appreciate every help, all the help I can get from them. Appreciate it. <clears throat> all right. Commissioner Parker. Uh, I don't have anything uh, today. Very good. All right. That should wrap us up unless there's anything else. Otherwise, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Make that motion. Motion by Commissioner Applewhite. Second. Second, Commissioner Parchman. All in favor, say aye. Uh, aye. aye.